Just two days till Alabama opens their season up against USC in Dallas, and we want to talk about the key matchups for that football game. And with that, I bring in Matt Zenitz on campus in Tuscaloosa right now, and we'll start with that first key matchup in Alabama's wide receivers versus USC secondary. Your thoughts there? Yeah, this is one of the strengths of Alabama's team. The, the wide receiver group, arguably the, the deepest and most talented wide receiver group in the country against one of the strengths of USC's team, the, one of the strengths of USC's defense. They have a couple of very good corners, including a projected first-round pick for next year in Adore Jackson, former five-star recruit in Iman Marshall. So it'll be a very interesting matchup to see guys like Calvin Ridley, Robert Foster, or Darius Stewart for Alabama against guys like Adore Jackson and Iman Marshall for USC. Now, we saw Alabama's secondary get picked apart against Clemson in the national championship game. Your thoughts on their matchup against some of the wide receivers that USC presents, including Juju Smith-Schuster. Yep, that one in particular, Juju Smith-Schuster is one of the top wide receivers in the country, arguably the top wide receiver in the country. Looking at some of the NFL draft projections for next year, that there are some, um, probably most of them, that have him as the top NFL prospect among draft eligible receivers for next year. So this will be a significant test for Alabama secondary. But part of what will make this such an interesting matchup is that you have a, a potential top 10 pick in Juju Smith-Schuster against a potential top 10 pick in Alabama cornerback Marlon Humphrey. And Matt, finally, Alabama's defense is said to be even better this season. I don't even know if that's possible. But how do you see their defensive line matching up against USC's O-line? Yep, so like I said, with the, with the matchup between Alabama's receivers and USC's secondary, that, that's one of Alabama's biggest strengths against U, one of USC's biggest strengths. And it's the same thing with USC's offensive line against Alabama's defensive line. USC's offensive line is full of potential NFL draft picks. Their, their left tackle is probably out for this game. Chad Wheeler, a potential first or second round pick for next year. But they, they've replaced him with... A, a guy who was a five-star recruit last year. Still have Zach Banner, a, a 6'9", 360-pound right tackle back. A lot of people have him pro projected to go early in next year's draft. And then they have a left guard, Damian Mama, also who I've seen projected to go early in next year's draft as well. So you have some very good players along the USC offensive line against obviously some very good players along the Alabama defensive line. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Have a safe trip to Dallas and for all your game updates and post-game report. Tune into AL.com.